काशी समारंभ शंकराचार्य मध्यमास्पदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराण आलिंग करुणालि नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंक शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागने व्योम उद्व्यादेहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावतु सहन उनक्त सह वीर करवाहै तेजस्वी नवजीतमस्तमाशावही ओं शांति 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 ब्रह्मांडातिपुर वेदागुच प्रहणूति तस्म तगुम प्रकाशमोक्षरण प्रपद्ये ओं शांति 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 नाम संसिधुमाधिमत्या वर्जित आत्मज्योतिस्मे औषाधिकरण जीव इज से अंश इव अंश ऑफ परमात्मा वाय बिकॉज अंश कला part is not possible because parmeshwara is partless so it is an imaginary part you have to imagine a part of ishwara as one jeeva and as many jeevas are there so many parts are imagined so many anshas are imagined so qualitatively jeeva who is samsari by swarupa he is no different than parmatma but quantity wise all the gunas are gunas all imagined gunas but then same nirguna brahma is saguna also so the saguna brahma who has uh, sarvai shitratvam uh, sarvajnyatvam all these sarva shakti matvam all these gunas are there jiva just by replacing sarva visheshana with alpa he remains qualitatively uh, quantitatively limited limited so quality wise it's the same parmatma who is jiva but quantity wise he does not have that shamata of ishwara kincha more over mantra varna cha mantra varna cha also due to man- mantra why is uh, jiva an ansha of parmatma because of the uh, mantra also mantra varna because of the statement of the mantra letters of the mantra which mantra is a very short uh, sutra as well as vritti pado se vishwa bhutani iti mantra varna so padah asya parmatmanah vishwa bhutani padas the vishwa all of these bhutas also the living beings are only pada one pada of bhagwan of parmeshwara therefore pada also means only one quarter so one quarter is a part so all the bhutas and vishwa is also nothing but one pada therefore also ansha iti mantra varnat parmeshwarasya avidya kalpita pada ansha भूत शब्दवाच्य जीव इति गम्यते देयरफॉर पादा इज इन द मीनिंग ऑफ अंश एंड पादा इफ यू से अ क्वार्टर और इफ यू टेक द मीनिंग ऑफ फुट आल्सो यू नो जस्ट यू नो लिटरल मीनिंग आल्सो इफ यू टेक फुट इज आल्सो पार्ट बट हियर पादा इट मींस व्हाट अ क्वार्टर वन पादा वन क्वार्टर लाइक इन द टाइम यू से वन पादा so you say uh, it is near to what uh, so shadavadana 6 o'clock and then plus 1 pada so you'll say uh, pada shadavadana so this pada is a quarter we have we've seen this in mandukya also or uh, in mandukya the uh, four padas are talked about for omkara omkara is nothing but the name for parmatma so one pada is one quarter so if you take quarter literally what it is a part 
वन फोर्थ पार्ट सो देर फोर ऑल्सो दट पार्ट बट दी पार्टलेस परमात्मा के नॉट है पार्ट देर फोर दी वृत्ति से परमेश्वर से अविद्या कल्पित पाद अविद्या कल्पित पाद पाद इज ऑल्सो कल्पित ड्यू टू अविद्या बिकॉज ऑल दिस इज इमेजिन इन दि श्रुति by taking jiva's avidya into account otherwise jiva himself is not possible since jiva is there karya is already there vishwa is there jiva is born in that kind of a vishwa so this jiva has to understand how am i limited and how i am not limited so from limited to limitless journey has to be made by the jiva for which lot of kalpanas are done from that perspective From the perspective of the baddha avastha of the jiva, Shruti imagines Shruti. Shruti imagines pada in Parmeshwara who cannot have pada. All these amshas are kalpita from the perspective of the samsari jiva. For the purpose of the samsari jiva, for the mukti of the samsari jiva, by giving him some answer to these questions, won't otherwise let him go ahead. those questions which will block the jiva from moving ahead these questions have to be answered he already finds himself as limited a bound uh, helpless creature and he sees such a variety in the prapancha so shruti does anuvada yes yes such a samsara does exist and there is a way out don't worry and how does this samsara come into being for, for that some shruti prakriya multiple ways Shruti explains in multiple ways how this Shruti has taken place. Then what is the connection with the Creator? Then it says that this Shruti, this Prapancha is nothing but one Pada of Paramatma. In reality, Paramatma cannot have Pada, but in reality, Jiva cannot be there, but he is there. You cannot tell the Jiva you are Paramatma. You you cannot be limited at all. That is not an answer. he is already in dukha and you say that your swarupa is sukha it is like going to somebody's house where there is a lot of shoka due to death in the family and then you go and give them vedanta jnana that is not right the, the mind has to be ready so jiva by default is baddha by default he is tuned outwards by default he is under the pressure of all the dukha so when you tell him you are sukha swarupa that is another dukha because now in on top of the dukha he said that you know being sukha swarupa you don't understand and you are a fool to be in dukha that's another problem that will create more dukha so shruti does anuvada yes in samsara there is lot of dukha how this samsara has come about it is a pad of ishwara and you also belong in that particular सृष्ट प्रपंच देर फोर यू आर ऑल्सो नॉट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम परमात्मा यू आर ऑल्सो एन अंशा दिस प्रपंच इज ऑल्सो अंशा एंड ऑल युअर रिलेटिव एंड फ्रेंड्स इंक्लूडिंग द पर्सन हु पास अवे इज ऑल्सो अंशा ऑफ परमात्मा देर फोर देर इज नथिंग टू वरी एंड स्लोली जस्ट लाइक अर्जुना इज ब्रॉड आउट ऑफ ग्रीफ इन भगवदगीता स्लोली द जीवा इज टेकन अहेड and made to reach this goal where this kalpita pada is to be understood and having been understood having understood that uh, pada being kalpita amsha being kalpita jiva who is a sadaka now also understand that he is a kalpita amsha of ishwara therefore taking away that amsha which is kalpita he becomes one with ishwara as though he was never different why as though because kalpita amsha was also amsha eva amsha which is which has gone and he was also as though limited that as though limitedness has gone away and what he knows is that he has ever been parmatma in all his glory sachidananda which is limitless ananta tattva so parmeshwara sa avidya kalpita padah amsha it is not that parmeshwara is the way sachidananda paramatma is from that perspective there is no amsha at all so there is no avidya there there is no kalpana there but as soon as you come to the saguna 
and the karya then from this you have to understand how did this karya come about so bhagwan uh, uh, bhashyakara in his uh, vidya uh, in his uh, viveka chudamani says that karya anumeya maya so maya which is anumeya due to what due to karya from the karya perspective if the karya exists then you have to imagine infer some karana and shruti does it for you karya anumeya maya maya is not different from avidya so what you do a kalpana of is avidya so from the karya avastha you say that oh since i exist i should have parents somebody exists therefore somebody because somebody exists there have to be parents so prapancha exists as a karya something exists it cannot be without cause ghata cannot be without mrut ghata cannot be without kulala therefore mrut and kulala should be there therefore some material should be there some intelligence is backing this karya and since shruti reveals that there is parabrahma who is nirguna some guna has to be this karya karanatva guna has to be kalpita has to be there therefore maya which helps become material and make the nirguna brahma as an efficient cause an intelligent cause the imagination is done the inference has to be done so because i exist therefore i have a karana that karana which is not known has to be inferred and it is inferred by the shruti so that we understand there is a karana so karya is also what really kalpita karana is kalpita so kalpita karanasya karyam api kalpitam eva bhavati then the person understands so oh, i i am kalpita meaning my segmentation from parmatma is kalpita it is not real that anushatva is kalpita and thereby bheda is kalpita abheda is the satya so parmeshwarasya avidya kalpita padaha is equal to ansha that is what this ansha is bhuta shabda vachya so bhuta shabda vachya bhuta jeeva living beings thereby bhuta shabda vachya what is bhutani जीवाह इत्यर्थ सो भूत शब्द वाच्य जीव इति गम्य गम्य अवगम्य इट इज नोन किंच अमरते एंड वॉट देर इज अ स्मृति ऑलसो स्मरते इन दि स्मृति इट इज ऑलसो रीकलेक्टेड दिस नॉलेज विच इज देर इन दि श्रुति इज रीकलेक्टेड बाय दि ऋषि एंड पैराफेज इन अ मैनर विच इज एक्सेबल टू एवरी वन स्मृति इज accessible to everyone but for shruti there are certain qualifications because certain followings come with the shruti so shruti may be short may be talking about some specific topics directly but smriti gives a context to all these statements coming up and smriti is simpler to understand you don't need a lot of background to understand smritis therefore smritis are accessible to everyone and the same idea which is there in the shruti is given in the smriti also so whenever there is some shruti which is lost and you need some pramana oh, for this what is the pramana smriti can be given and when smriti is there then again because smriti exists shruti has to be there it may not be known it may not be accessible to everyone it may not be uh, preserved in the sampraday also because of lot of akramana it has been destroyed but if smriti exist and it is not contradictory to existing shrutis then that smriti is a pramana so unless contradicted by shruti smriti is pramana similarly the puranas also which are even simpler they are given in a broader context the same teaching is given in a broader context of Uh, historical facts or uh, you know some uh, uh, stories which cannot be known with the devaloka ityadi so puranas are also pramana with the same logic puranas where there is no contradiction with shruti or smriti so this is the hierarchy of pramanas in shabda pramana so apicha smaryate and it is also recollected by the uh, by the rishis just give me one moment there is some okay there is no 
संभीप ओके सो अभी जस्ट मर जाते वेर वेर डू यू नो दैट जीवा इज एन अंशा ऑफ परमात्मा अंश ही अंशा ममे अंशो जीव लोके जीव भूत सनातन भगवदगीता च ईश्वर से अविद्या कल्पित अंश जीव इति स्मर्यते सो इट इज रिकलेक्टेड इन स्मृति ऑल्सो विच स्मृति भगवदगीता सो इन भगवदगीता श्लोका यू सी इन फिफ्टीन चैप्टर ममे मम एव अंश भगवान कृष्ण परमात्मा स्वतः स्वयं वदति ही सेज हिमसेल्फ व्हाट इज दिस मम एव अंश जीव लोके जीव भूत सनातन दिस जीव इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ जीव जीव भूत वन हू हेज एटेंड दिस जीव भाव हु इज दैट इन दिस जीव लोका जीव लोका विच इज दि जीव लोका वेर एवर देर आर जीव दैट इज दि जीव लोका सो कैटगराइज देव लोका जीव लोका इत्यादि सो देर हू इज दिस जीव देव इज ऑल्सो जीव Why जीव ब्रह्म लोक ऑल्सो कैटेगराइज ब्रह्म लोक दिस पृथ्वी लोक इत्यादि दट्स अ डिफरेंट कैंड ऑफ अ कैटेगराइज स्वर्ग लोक इत्यादि बट वॉट इज दिस पितृलोक इत्यादि सो वॉट इज दिस जीव लोक सो दिस इज अ जीव इज अ स्पीयर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो देर दोक इज इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ अनुभव सो वेर एवर देर इज अ जीव अनुभव इन दैट स्पीयर There is someone who is called a jiva. So that jiva bhuta is Paramatma really, because what we know this uh, praveshya shruti. Ani na jiva atmana anu praveshya anu praveshya shruti praveshya shruti is there. So there Paramatma himself has entered as jiva. As soon as he created the sharira, where he, he is associated with, then there is jiva bhava. सो मम एव मम परमात्म एव अंश कह स अंश जीवभूत कुत्र जीवलोके एंड इज इट रियली वेन परमात्मा एंटर्स दि शरीर दैट टाइम अलोन ही बिकम्स ए जीव इट इज नॉट ट्रू सनातन सनातन इज ऑलवेज बीन लाइक दैट शरीर इज क्रिएटेड एंड एसोसिएशन इज मेड फॉर दैट पर्टिक्युलर जन्म But this jiva bhava is there across janmas. It has always been there in this anadi janma santati, in this chain of janmas, janma marana chain. Jiva has always been there, and he has always been an ausha of Paramatma. Therefore, iti Bhagavad Gita su cha Ishwarasya avidya kalpita ausha. Again, avidya kalpita ausha because real ausha is not possible because when you say is Krishna Paramatma. Like you know, some uh, so-called Vedantins claim Krishna alone is Paramatma. There is no other Paramatma, not even Narayana. They will say only Krishna. That Krishna is there alone. But who is this Krishna? If you are to act, see, is Vasudev Putra. That Vasudev Putra has Aushad, which is not Jiva. Because if you see him as Vasudev Putra, then he himself is an Aushad of his parents. So how can you say Jiva is Aamsha? His Aamsha is our Pada, uh, Karna, Hasta, Ityadi are the Aamshas. What other Aamsha can you see in Krishna? So it is not literal. Even if someone says that only Krishna is uh, Bhagwan, no one else. There also what is their Tatparya? The Tatparya is that Krishna is that Satchidan the Paramatma. Who is partless really? Therefore, that Satchidananda, where Satch Satchit and Ananda is also, they are also not parts. You cannot have Sat which is not Chit, which is not Ananda. So, if you look at the Satchidananda or Satyam Jnana Manantam Brahma, that Paramatma Tattva, if it is existent, is it what what kind of existence is it? Is it insentient or unconscious? That is meaningless. So the Paramatma who is conscious cannot be non-existent. Also, you cannot say the the Paramatma or Jiva any Atma is conscious. Its its consciousness is Atma. Consciousness is Brahma, 
and then you say it is not existent so it has to be existent therefore sat and chit are the same it is an existent consist consciousness it is the existent consciousness and it is dukha roopa can you say you cannot say it is dukha roopa nobody will want that kind of a swarupa in moksha so moksha swarupa is known to be ananda it is sought after by everyone so it has to be ananda and can it be non existent ananda it cannot be can it be ananda where you are unconscious like in deep sleep then might as well sleep all the time doesn't work that way therefore ananda has satta also and chitta also so there is no difference between these three at all sat is chit that is ananda sat is chit chit is ananda and there is no difference in these three they are not gunas so people say that oh how can nirguna brahma be satchirananda because they read the translation consciousness unfortunately this ness suffix makes it a guna in the language but there is no better we cannot have a better translation it is better to say achidananda that's all we are not saying satta chitta and anandatvam we are saying sat chit ananda now what is the translation for sat in english there cannot be you cannot say truth you cannot say exist existent you have to say existence because it is not a unit in uh, uh, tarka shastra also when you say ghatam uh, aham janami what do you really know once you know one ghata all ghatas are no, known so in nivamsa shastra also tarka shastra also it is ghatatva which is known ghata jati is known although in vedanta we do not say jati as we do not accept that jati ghatatva we do not accept it in the sense that uh, we do not say that that jati as guna or something which is separate from the guni so we do accept it but we don't say it is different it is uh, nitya jati which is separate from brahma nitya is brahma what is sat what is nitya is brahma so you cannot have another nitya varga you cannot have ghatatva which is nitya gotva which is nitya you cannot have so many nityas so therefore we say we don't accept the tarkikas defined jati ghatatva jati manushya jati manushyatva jati gotva jati but we do accept that jati ghatatva is known but that ghatatva is not nitya in that sense of brahma being nitya it is nitya in the sense that even if the ghata goes away that ghatatva exists in the next pot in another unbroken ghata there is ghatatva so that way it is relatively nitya compared to ghata but it is not nitya the way tarkika claims it anyway this is an aside to know that this satchidananda is the swarupa of atma jiva is not jiva's satchidananda swarupa is not kalpita but the aumshatva is kalpita it is mariyate ननु जीवस्य ईश्वरांशत्वे तद् दुःखेन ईश्वरस्य दुःखित्वं स्यात् इत्यतः नाउ दिस इज अ सिमिलर ऑब्जेक्शन व्हिच हैज कम अक्रॉस अर्लियर वी हैव सीन अ सिमिलर ऑब्जेक्शन सो वी सी एज द पाद कम्स टू अ क्लोज ऑल ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द रिफ्यूटेशंस हैव बीन मेड ऑल द आरोपस हैव बीन रिमूव्ड सो एज द पाद कम्स टू क्लोज यू सी द पूर्व पक्षी ट्राइंग टू you know trying the you know uh, the last options available all the plans which are a plan b plan c so they keep on trying to get to the siddhanti by bringing in some ideas which have been discussed they are not in the same context they are in a different context but there are similar answers answers cannot be same they are similar answers sometimes they are same but where they will say that uh, you know the sutrakara will say it has already been said or the vritti will say so so nanu jeevasya ishwara anushatve so in this context of anushatva of jeeva which has not been discussed earlier at all so this is a new context in this context of jeevasya anushatvam so jeevas jeevasya ishwara anushatve sati if at all you siddhanti claim that jeeva is ishwara's ansha then is jiva dukhi or not jiva is dukhi you are agreeing that jiva is dukhi in so many words so if jiva is dukhi so ansha is dukhi then what about the anshi anshi will definitely have dukha so when jiva who is ansha is dukhi has dukha that will accrue to anshi parmatma also tad dukhena mean jiva dukhena 
ईश्वरस्य दुखित्वम स्यात ईश्वर विल आल्सो बिकम दुखी जीवास एंड सो मेनी जीवास आर देयर हु आर अंशास एंड ऑल दी जीवास आर मोर और लेस दुखी मे बी नॉट साइमिलटेनियसली बट देयर इज एन अंडर करंट ऑफ दुख व्हिच कैन बी साइमिलटेनियस मेजॉरिटी ऑफ दी इवन इफ यू टेक 50% सुख दुख हैज इज 50% देन हाफ दी जीवास आर दुखी at one point of time at any point of time therefore what therefore ishwara has to be dukhi with so much of dukha tad dukhe ne ishwara se dukhitam syad ityata ha taking this into account what does he say sutrakara refutes says prakash prakash adi van naivam parah prakash adi van naivam parah prakash adi vat na एवं परह परह इज परमात्मा सो परमात्मा इज नॉट एवं न दुखी त्याता इज नॉट दुखी वाय प्रकाशादिवत हाउ सो टेक एन एग्जाम्पल प्रकाशादिवत सो लाइक प्रकाश लाइक दी प्रकाश एंड वॉट एवं एवं मीन्स वॉट एवं यथा एवं इज प्रकारवाची इन दिस मैनर इन विच मैनर इन दि मैनर ऑफ जीवा बींग दुखी जीववत इत सो एवं जीववत पर परमात्मा न वॉट इज एक्सापल प्रकाशादिवत सो जीववत न न दुखित न दुख पर न दुखी यू कैन से दुखी इट्स एल सो जीववत एवं जीववत पर दुखी न वॉट इज एक्सापल प्रकाशादिवत सो पर इज प्रकाशादिवत न जीववत इत दट इज द मीनिंग यथा जीव इज एक्सप्लेनिंग एवं यथा जीव अविद्या आवेशवशा अविद्यावेशवशा so under the influence of avidya avesha the connection with avidya due to the avidya which is already entered jiva how has it entered jiva as karana it is a karana for jiva bhava so it is already there in karya karana does not have to enter again it is already there so this avidya which is the cause for jiva under that influence of avidya dehadyatma bhavam iva gatah tad tad krutena dukhena dukhi aham iti abhimanyate so jeeva ha abhimanyate jeeva thinks he considers that i am dukhi how does he consider that he is dukhi and he is not really dukhi he considers he is dukhi by what due to the संबंधा विद्य अविद्या अविद्या आवेशवशा ड्यू टू दी इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ अविद्या ओवरवेलमिंग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दी अविद्या देयर फॉर व्हाट देहादि आत्म आत्मभाव इव गतः गतः मींस ही इज दिस जीवा ही इज गतः ही इज ही हैज अटेंड व्हाट हैज ही अटेंड ही हैज अटेंड एज दो इव एज दो ही इज नॉट रियली अटेंड जीवा हु इज परमात्मा इन स्वरूप हैज नॉट रियली अटेंड देहादि आत्मभाव देहादिषु आत्म भाव इज दि सामस देहादि देहादि ये देहादय तेषु सर्वेशु अस्य आत्म भाव अस्य परमात्मन रियली जीवात्मन परमात्मन आत्म भाव दट आत्म भाव बाय एंटरिंग इन टू शरीर anu as per the anupravesha shruti parmatma has somehow reflected into this antakarana and taken jiva bhava that is explained here as deha dishu stula deha sukshma deha and the avidya deha which is the karana deha or karana sharira and to all these shariras this entity has parmatma who has entered has atma bhava de tadatmya sambandha and that atma bhava is what thereby dehadi dehadi dehadishu 
ಆತ್ಮಭಾವ ದೇಹಾಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಭಾವ ತಂ ಗತ ಬಟ್ ಹೌ ಇವ ತಂ ಗತ ಇವ ಗತ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಂಶ ಇವ ಅಂಶ ಸೊ ತಂ ಗತ ಇವ ಗತ ತಂ ಕಂ ದೇಹಾಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಭಾವ ಆಸ್ ದು ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಟೆಂಡ್ ಆತ್ಮಭಾವ ಆಸ್ ದು ಹಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಬಿ ದಿ ಶರೀರ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಶರೀರ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಶರೀರ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ಶರೀರ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಯು ನೋ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಹರ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಶರೀರ ದೆನ್ ಯು ವೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಶರೀರ ಇಸ್ ಕಟ್ ವಿ ವೋಂಟ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಿ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಸೇ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಮೈ ಹೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಶೋಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಂಬಂಧ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಶರೀರ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಸಮಹೌ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ತಾದಾತ್ಮ್ಯ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಯು ನೋ ಯು ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಡಿನ್ನರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓನ್ ಯುವರ್ ದಿ ಯುರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫೇವ್ರೆಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಡ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ you spill during lunch you spill some food on your on your uh, clothes brand new clothes and it has turmeric etc so it is going to stain now so somebody says oh look at it and you, you you've got some uh, food on you it is not on you it is on your clothing but uh, what do you say oh i i spilled uh, food on myself it is not you it is your clothes it it is your your clothing that is on which you have spilled the food but then from the others perspective as well as your perspective you say that you know uh, you have that sambandha with the clothes so imagine with the new clothes you have that kind of a sambandha how is it with the sharira it is even closer sukshma sharira is further closer to stula sharira so you don't mind some physical hurt but emotional hurt very difficult to manage we find in a fix you know physical hurt we can manage somehow but emotional hurt very difficult because no visible uh, you know visible uh, part that can be treated not as visible as the sharira you cannot you know uh, provide heat to the emotional hurt the way you can give it to the leg which has bumped against a table you cannot put a uh, you know heat pack or an ice pack you cannot do anything with the emotions so the mental hurt is very difficult Mo- closer we are m- having more sambandha with it and then uh, such emotions also you can manage because you have buddhi but buddhi sambandha is in deeper and if someone insults what an idiot you are so what do we feel more hurt it's okay you know i can manage these emotions but then insult i can't take how can he uh, this person insult me so we are very associated with that buddhi more than the mind which is even more than the sharira physical sharira so the more you go within the more is the bandhana the more is the binding and avidya you cannot give up because anandamaya kosha avidya is itself anandamaya kosha it veils but then it does not create anything meaning the vikshepa is gone in ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಬಟ್ ಆವರ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿಕ್ಷೇಪ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಕರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವಿಷಯ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಇಮೋಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಪೇನ್ ಸೊ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೇನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಂಪೋಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬೈ ಬೀಂಗ್ ಅ ಡಿಸೈ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಡಿಸೈರ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ವೇರಿಯರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು you know be sharper have better memory not give in to uh, you know these insults at the antakarana level you know want to manage my emotions better <clears throat> not get carried away by my desires by uh, you know by somebody's uh, uh, emotionally blackmailing me whatever it is and at the physical level you know i would like to be strong so all these are desires which are, are manifest in the jagrat avastha in swapna also to some extent but then in sushupti none of these are there therefore vikshepa having gone only avarna being there that avidya is sukha avastha really you know loosely ignorance is bliss avidya is not ignorance really literally but then in sushupti avastha this avarna alone being there vikshepa not being there 
it is folded into bija avastha one finds oneself sukhi therefore also uh, lot of association with it but then by swarupa ananda all the way sachidananda that is the real swarupa so this jiva avidya vesha vashad dehadhyatma bhavam iva gatah he has as though attained this status of being dehadi tatkrutena dukhena and due to that what this dehadi atma bhava which has been attained that dehadi atma bhava itself that tadatmya sambandha taking oneself to be the sharira traya at various levels based on the context one has dukha so dukhena tatkrutena dukhena dehadi atma bhava krutena dukhena this dukha which is created due to this atma bhava in sharira traya therefore dukhi aham iti abhimanyate all over abhita manyate not uh, once or twice through and through whenever there is dukha he considers dukha is there that's an emotion in the mind there is an emotion in the mind but i am not having any of that emotions really let them go in the mind because we have seen earlier as uh, duryodhana said duryodhana is a is an example for all of us to learn what that whatever is taking place in the mind is beyond your control you can be a witness to it not act upon it that is your choice which duryodhana didn't take but so far as all these ideas which come up in the mind he says that i you know within me you prod me to act so these ideas are there which come up you have no control over how the mind functions over a period of time if we put in the right samskaras the mind will also retain those samskaras earlier samskaras will be washed away but what backlog we have the baggage that we are carrying across janmas we cannot do anything about that we cannot say that oh, i should not think like that you can say i can, can, should not think like that also but then the mind has its own way out you cannot suppress these you have to let them go you have to work on the opposite yoga shastra says whenever you have something that you do not want work on the opposite guna mahabharata says that dharma shastra i have misery then i start giving how do you actually not become a miser i want to i, I want uh, i want my wealth you start doing dana who oh, i like these books i i am not going to share my books start sharing your books no everything i can give i can't give my books start sharing jealousy who oh, this person knows better than me start teaching that person knows better than me oh i will not share start sharing knowledge so all these are the ways to share so if when you share when you work on the opposite then those gunas that you do not want they go away this is the way in yoga shastra in mahabharata dharma shastra says that so the, it is not that you cannot work on it but it is not going to have an immediate effect mind is going to oppose your sharing the mind is going to oppose everything that you do which it fears that as though if you just personify the mind it is going to fear its its own destruction and who wants a suicide nobody does so the mind does not want to commit a suicide by giving into your opposition to it and it starts opposing the more you oppose the more it will fight it's like a kid so you need not pamper it but you should not even punish it just like handling kids so those who are parents they know better than me but then we see we understand by looking at uh, you know culturally looking at how things have been we have our own ideas we learn we grow so we do not want to repeat our parents mistakes with our kids and we do want to do everything good that the parents did unto our kids so we learn and change and thereby the mind also should be treated like a kid who is trying to revolt especially a teenager and then you start not pamper but then you start once in a while 
you treat it well but then discipline thereby what this dukha which is coming up due to this association with emotions that won't be there but then otherwise what tatkritena dukhena dukhi aham iti abhimanyate always considers that whatever is the guna of the sharira it is all mine na evam paraha ishwara paraha paramatma ishwara evam na so para is paramatma jeeva is jeevatma so paraha paramatma na evam na he is not yatha jeeva tatha na ityartha prakasha divat what is the example prakasha divat like the light i didn't explain in the mula because examples are given prakasha example is clear uh, as to prakasha does not get affected in in its reality prakasha is not effect, eff, affected but then if you look at prakasha as per dharma shastra there are some examples so i didn't want to talk about any mula generally what prakasha is not tainted by lighting up good and bad this is what we know from shruti also and by experience also we i mean it is but logical just because you know uh, you put a light outside you know you put a light outside your uh, say uh, let's say you, you know there there is light in the garage and you have some expensive things your car is there i mean somebody somebody put a uh, uh, light in the garage he didn't switch it off now if somebody steals a car it is not his fault the fault fault of the light you can see oh, i forgot to switch off the light so somebody who is not stealing a thief comes there are two scenarios possible a thief comes comes in looks at the light and says what oh somebody is awake so we can't steal this car another person looks at the car another thief and looks at it and says what oh it's it's a brand new car i am going to steal it so the person who didn't steal it the first thief because of the light and the second person stole it because of the light as well so is light at fault or is light to be he said oh uh, it's good that i switched on switched on the light the thief ran away or because the light was on the thief stole neither is applicable to the light really the only role of light is to light up what is a, whatever is in its area that's all there is absolutely no other role surya similarly is not tainted by punya and papas of the wish. people who are committing punya or papa karma because of the light of the daylight of the surya in the, in broad daylight you see in broad daylight this happened surya is not to be faulted something good happens in his light also surya is not to be faulted uh, is not to be given credit also so he has nothing to do with he is just lighting up he has in because sanskrita surya is masculine so prakasha diva that is the example we know so that is the general meaning in the sutra but the specific idea is to be mentioned to con- contrast jiva and parmatma so that is given in the vritti here prakasha divat yatha prakasha tatha so prakasha yatha sauraha chandra maso va prakasha so whether it is a surya prakasha or chandra prakasha saura is what surya sambandha prakasha surya krita prakasha the surya is surya's light the sunlight and chandra maso is moonlight so va prakasha nabho vyapya vartamanaha वक्र काष्टादुपाधिकृत वक्र भाव इव आपन्न अभी न वस्तु वक्र भाव आपद्य सो वॉट इज बीइंग सेट इज दैट इन सायंस ऑलसो वॉट वॉट डू दे से दैट बेसिकली वी पर्स पर्सिव लाइट सो वील लुक एट फ्रॉम ए साइंटिफिक पर्स्पेक्टिव फॉर दी इजी एग्जाम्पल सो दि लाइट इज वॉट यू रियली सी सो वेन दि object is in a particular shape let let's uh, say that you are uh, uh, what something which is imagine you know uh, uh, imagine something uh, of a clay you know uh, uh, kids have this uh, you know they have this clay packs that they play with the clay packs you can shape up anything so let's say the kid has made a rod out of this red clay now this it is reflecting light so you see the light which is you know as a straight like a rod then he bends it 
into a U shape. Light bends into U shape. Does the light really bend? It doesn't. But it appears as though the red color that is, you know, the red color reflecting out of the sunlight or whatever moonlight or the lamp light, it is reflecting a curved texture. So it in a curved form, the light is reflecting. It is not really true. Light is there all over. Light is there all over. You can take a better example would be a mirror. Let's say a mirror is, you know, shaped like that. Whether it is straight or curved, light is not going to curve or remain straight. Light is there all over. But you see that the mirror which is reflecting, you see the light which is curved. You cannot see the mirror from a distance. You see light. Somebody is reflecting that light. If it is oval shaped, you will see oval. If it, if it is, you know, rectangular, you will see rectangular light. But the light is not taking shape at all. It is just the mirror which is having a shape. Light is all over. This is the example. So, Prakasha Dvayatha Sauraha Chandramaso Va Prakasha Nabho Vyapya Vartamanaha. That which is there all pervasive. Nabho Vyapya. Nabha is Akasha. Napunchaka Linga. Therefore, Nabhas. Nabhas is the Pratipadika. And in Dvitiya Ekvachana also it will be Nabhas only. Nabha. So, Nabha Vyapya. Here it is Dvitiya Ekvachana. Prakasha Prathama Ekvachana having pervaded what? Nabaha Akasha having pervaded Akasha Vartamana being present so meaning what Prakasha light which is either sunlight or moonlight which is all pervasive across the Akasha meaning it is there everywhere somehow based on the object that is lighting up it appears in the shape of the object so Vakra Kashta Dupadi Krutha Upadis are the object this it takes the Upadi of the object which it is lighting up. So that sunlight or moonlight, whether it is Vakra shape or Kashtadi, whether it is, you know, the wood which is cut up in a particular shape, etc. So Vakra Kashtadi Upadi Krutha Vakra Bhavam Iva Apanna So Vakra Kashta. So the wood which is shaped as Vakra or straight, however it is. But wood is reflecting light. Especially, you know, if it is polished well. That is why uh, mantra is what? Uh, yupo Aditya. So Yupaha Aditya. Yu, yupaha Aditya. So Yupa is Aditya. Yupa is the wood where the animal is tied. So that sacrificial animal. So that should shine. It should be uh, the Yupa is the stump which has which is uh, been polished so much that it shines. So much like that is comparable to Surya, Aditya. Means it, it reflects like a mirror. So wood which is reflecting now, whether it is in the shape of Vakra Akara or any other Akara. So Vakra Kashta Dupadi Krutha Vakra Bhavam. Eva, again Eva. Not really. Apan no api. Even Upadi Krutha Vakra Bhava as though it, this has attained, this light has attained. Even though it is Upadi Krutha and Vakra Bhavam Iva, it is not really so. So Vakra Bhavam Iva Apanno Api Na Vasutha Vakra Bhavam Apadhyati. In reality, the light has not taken the Vakra shape Tadvata. Why I didn't explain this in the... Uh, uh, in uh, the Mula is because Bhashya there is a little more. Bhashya the examples are you know Jiva and Parma some Bheda is given you know. Light is also differentiated in Shastra based on you know a particular kind of a light sh should not be you know if there is a for example you know Agni, Agni example, Agni Prakasha is there but what kind of Agni Prakasha is auspicious, what is not auspicious this is discussed in Dharma Shastra. So I'll just mention it because uh, I happen to look into the Bhashya because some differentiation is made between Jiva and Paramatma. Here Paramatma is said to be having no, uh, you know, having no what? Dukhitva, Bhava, Dukkha Bhava. Paramatma is not Dukhi. But to contrast between Jiva and Paramatma, what is the contrast given? Jiva is as though Dukhi and Paramatma is not as though Dukhi also. So here you look at it. Vakrabhav yom apanna vastuta vakrabhavam na apadhyate. Does not take vakrabhava in reality. Does not take the curve 
uh, the light is as has though as though taken the curved form but is not really curved so that is the difference between the reflected light which appears curved and the light which is not really curved that is the difference between exemplified jiva and parmatma respectively but in uh, uh, in the bhashya bhagwan bhashyakara gives example so agni which is auspicious so in vyavahara you have to make a difference but in reality there is no difference but when you have to make a difference the sukha dukha have to be seen so the agni which gives a prakasha at all places where there is agni smashana agni is not auspicious for i mean for the uh, that antyeshti karma it may be auspicious but then smashana agni when, when you say you know smashana all deshas are akasha is what shuddha but do you say the uh, akasha the space in the uh, smashana is shuddha no if you pass by you enter you have to come and take a bath similarly agni also this prakasha akasha all these are examples we can take uh, akasha example also similarly prakasha also what bhagwan bhashyakara says is agni of the smashana and the agni of the veda kunda in the veda in the veda the agni there is a difference definite difference in vyavahara so similarly jiva and ishvara difference is made there in the sense that jiva can be dukhi as though but ishvara is not even as though dukhi tadvata jiva api na parmarthata dukhittvam abhimanyate ichyartha so what is the final conclusion finally jiva is also prakasha roopa chaitanya roopa and ishvara is also prakasha roopa so really jiva is also not taking the dukha bhava i mean dukhi is not really dukhi dukhitva na na abhimanyate it does not really become dukhi this is the meaning ichartha swaranti cha and there is swaranti cha and rishi rishaya swaranti cha they also say meaning smriti granthas इन स्मृति ग्रंथा ऋषि से सो वॉट दे से तत्र यह परमात्मा ही सनित्यो निर्गुण स्मृत न लिप्यते फलैश्चा पद्म पत्र मीवांसा इत्यादि व्यासादय ईश्वर से सांसारिक दुखा असंस्पर्शि स्मरती सो व्यासादय स्मरती चो व्यास इत्यादि हु हैव written smriti granthas who have created smriti granthas they talk about what ishwarasya samsarika dukha asamsparshitva smaranti they recollect this from the shruti and state it in ways they, which are easier to understand for the masses so ishwara does not have what samsparshitva samyak sparshitva although ishwara is there through and through the body you can say sparsha is there oh it is not samyak sparsha meaning it is not tadatmya sambandha ishwara while pervading everywhere is connected with every everything so if you think that that is sparsha okay that is sparsha but it is not samyak sparsha the way jiva has he does not have tadatmya sambandha he has no nothing to do he is neutral he is the karana which is uh, underlying all karyas appears as all karyas so samsparshitvam with what dukha dukha asamsparshitvam does not have samsparshitvam with dukha does not have sparsha even a sparsha with dukha samsparsha what kind of dukha all dukha is what samsarika dukha so samsarika dukha jiva is a samsari so has samsarika dukha and ishvara does not have this dukha at all samsarika dukha asamsparshitvam व्यासादय ईश्वर से स्मरती ईश्वर से असंस्पर्शिवम विथ वॉट सांसारिक दुख स्मरती एंड थ्रू वेर इज इट दिस सीन इत्यादि भी थ्रू श्लोका सच एज दीज एग्जाम्पल इज गिवन तत्र परमात्मा ही सह नित्य दैट परमात्मा हु इज नित्य वॉट इज ही रियली स्मृत निर्गुण स्मृत He cannot have this dukha, dukha bhava, dukhitva. Why dukhit, dukhitva is a guna. He cannot have sukhitva also. 
परमात्मा आनंदा इज नॉट अनुभव जन्य सुख इट इज नॉट अनुभूत और विषय विषय जन्य सुख इट इज दैट सुखित्व सुखित्व एंड दुखित्व बोथ आर नॉट देर बिकॉज इज निर्गुण निर्गुण स्मृता सो वन स्मृति से इज दैट इट इज ऑलरेडी सीन इन अदर स्मृति इज ऑल्सो दैट परमात्मा इज नित्य एंड नित्य निर्गुण यू कैन से इज नित्य एंड निर्गुण और यू कैन से ही इज निर्गुण नॉट वंस इन अ वाइल ही इज ऑलवेज निर्गुण बोथ मीनिंग्स आर पॉसिबल न लिप्यते इज नॉट टेंटेड बाय फल ही चापी ही इज नॉट टेंटेड इवन विथ फला कर्म फला विथ एनी फला तो भगवान हैज क्रिएटेड दिस प्रपंच ही इज देर इन ऑल दी शरीरास सो देर फोर ऑल दी फलास ऑल दी दुखा सुख दुखा शुड ऑल्सो एक्रूव टू परमात्मा इट इज नॉट सो विच हिरण्य गर्व यस हिरण्य गर्व हैज ओनली सुख स्पर्शा नॉट दुख स्पर्शा साइमलटेनियसली ऑल जीवा सुखास आर अनुभूत बाय एक्सपीरियंस बाय हिरण्य गर्व देर फोर हिरण्य गर्व उपासना इज दी हाइएस्ट उपासना मीनिंग हिरण्य गर्व पदवी गेटिंग हिरण्य गर्व एसोसिएशन इज दी हाइएस्ट फला पॉसिबल फॉर अ फॉर अ जीवा सॉरी आई डू नॉट नो वेदर यू हियर दी अलार्म रिंग इन द बैकग्राउंड आई आई हैव इयरफोन्स प्लग्ड इन बिकॉज देर इज लॉट ऑफ रेन आउटसाइड सो आई हियर सम अलार्म गोइंग ऑन ऑल्सो बट इट इट इज फॉर चार्जिंग इट इज अ लिटल अवे सो इफ इट इज डिस्टर्बिंग आई एम सॉरी वी ऑलमोस्ट एट दी एंड सो आल फिनिश हियर एज टू न लिप्यते परमात्मा निर्गुण नित्य स्मृत यमात्मा सह फल न लिप्यते वॉट इज एक्सापल ही इज नॉट टेन्टेड यून बाय फलास लाइक वॉट पद्म पद्म पत्र इवांभस इट इज अ वेरी कॉमन एक्सापल लाइक दि ड्रॉपलेट्स ऑफ वॉटर ऑन वॉट पद्म पत्र ऑन दि लीफ ऑफ दि लोटस सो यू हेव सीन लीफ ऑफ दि लोटस इज just like any other leaf but it is not just like any other leaf all other leaves after rain or being dipped in water if you sprinkle water they'll be wet and if you just you know uh, if you just uh, brush it away still they'll be wet but lotus water naturally drops of everything and if you just you know shake it away it will not have water and even when there is water you see those droplets remain as droplets which are not really wetting the leaf the leaf just holds that water without really being wet at all so that is the example uh, further uh, we'll look at in the next part ha huh? i think this ahusha uh, the 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 chapter will end with the same adhikarana so there is no other adhikarana we look at uh, the 48 sutra right so we'll look at the 48 sutra in the next part ha kamna yantika samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam anand gharam apurnam atma jyoti rupasme namaste dhanyavada namaste namaste